Raiders rooted by Chiefs 31-13, Kansas City, Missouri. When interim coach Tony Sperano broke down the Raiders' 31-13 loss to the Kansas City Chiefs on Sunday at Arrowhead Stadium, he saw several instances of Oakland beating Oakland, others agreed, including tight end Michael Rivera, who said he needed to watch the film but it sure seemed like us beating us, veteran free safety, Charles Woodson. Noting that his team had been outplayed in all three phases, wasn't so sure. Kansas City beat Oakland, Woodson said, that's what it boils down to. We didn't rise to the occasion. The bottom line finds the Raiders with a 2-12 record. A 10-game road losing streak and still unable to win back-to-back -back games since 2012 a week after a stirring 24-13 win over the 49ers. The Raiders would need to win their last two games at home against Buffalo and on the road at Denver to equal the 4-12 in each of the two previous seasons from which owner Mark Davis made a preseason demand of progress. An ESPN report surfaced that Davis is considering sweeping Shanjas in the organization that could include general manager Reggie McKenzie, under whose stewardship the Raiders are 10-36. The Raiders were more competitive than in a 52-0 loss to the St. Louis Rams two weeks ago. But falling with a thud again in Missouri may have been just as frustrating because, as defensive end Justin Tuck said, we aided in our own demise today, I can tell you that.